All right. Lastly, the team that won the weekend. Funny things happen in the Big 12. There are some funny things that happen in the Big 12. The team that was on a bye won the weekend, and that's Colorado. I know you guys are probably sick of Colorado, but let's talk about it. Colorado coming into the week, sitting at a three or four spot behind Kansas State. uh, Small chances, I think it was at 7% to make the playoffs. Little do you know. Kansas State loses to Houston. Two losses in the Big 12. Iowa State loses to Texas Tech. Hold up. Kansas State loses to Houston. Iowa State loses to Texas Tech. Here comes Colorado. Here comes Colorado sitting at 4-1 and one with Iowa State for second place in the Big tw- in the Big Ten. Excuse me, I'm saying Big Ten, Big 12, second place in the Big 12, right behind BYU. This makes this week's game versus Texas Tech their biggest game since Deion Sanders has been there. This week versus Texas Tech is the biggest game since the primetime era in Colorado football history. You have to beat Texas Tech to get ahead of Ohio, to get ahead of Iowa State. You get two losses, it's over. I don't I don't I don't necessarily see you coming back because then you're back in tiebreaker mode with Kansas State. No boy no you don't want to do that. You beat Texas Tech and it's there. It's there. That Big 12 that Big 12 championship game is there. You get to Big 12 championship game. Playoff hopes get real. Can you imagine Colorado second year with Coach Prime in the playoffs after expanding in the first year of expansion to 12 teams? Must see TV. Must see TV. Being that the Gators have a down year, I am a bandwagon Colorado fan, and I am not afraid to admit it. But I'm going to say it one more time. This week versus Texas Tech is the biggest game in Colorado football history in the primetime era with so much on the line. You've had your test earlier in the year. Nebraska was a test. You failed. Kansas State was a test. You failed. You almost lost to Baylor. You can't lose to Texas Tech. Oh.